For years, Dr. Jim Seward began every day in his office. He walked these halls, taught hundreds of students in his classes, but he left his imprint on thousands of people. I really believe just our everyday conversations made me to be a better man. So I just want to say thank you, Dr. Seward. So thank you for meeting with me for that hour-long discussion about my speech and helping me through it. Because without you, I really wouldn't be the person I am today. We've gotten here without you. So thank you. And I also want to thank you for the future opportunities you gave me and all the things, uh, networks that you gave me to use. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to talk to you in the future. So thank you very much. Doc, I just want to thank you personally uh, from the bottom of my heart for showing me what it's like to get started in the world of communications. That's a scary job market out there, but your words of wisdom have uh, definitely kept me going throughout the four years and kept me focused and on the same path. Hey Doc, you have done so much for me as far as my comm major goes. Like, I, I don't know if you really know it, but even from the first semester when I had you for COM 100, you just really touched me. Dr. Seward, thank you so much for all the help you've given me this past year with uh, broadcast journalism, broadcast performance, and all the advice you've given to me uh, over the course of my four years here. And last year you told me that you thought I was fearless and you liked that about me and that's really stuck with me and I've tried to apply that to my life and to my schoolwork. And I definitely wish him a very happy retirement but we will miss him at Fisher and he better come back next year to walk with us in the St. Patrick's Day Parade because I know how much everyone enjoyed that this year. And you told me that honesty, integrity, and respect are one of the three main things that I should keep in my life and I'll always remember that. The words thank you aren't quite enough for the gift she'll give me will last the rest of my life. I will miss you very much. Dr. Seward, the imprint that you've left on me is you were one of the first classes that I ever took at Fisher. And if there was ever a professor that made me feel like college is where I wanted to be, it was you. He is the one person that I always know uh, is looked up to by all the students. And therefore, he's an individual that I've tried to emulate in as many ways as I can. Uh, because I figured that if the students liked him, they'd probably like me if I acted like him. Uh, I've been very lucky to have an office that's right next to his. He's actually right over there. And my guess is that he's with a student right now. Uh, Fisher is known for giving personal attention to students, but Jim is with students all the time. I think a stronger word to describe him would really be legacy. Um, I've been thinking about that a lot now with him leaving, and I think that the legacy that he's left behind in terms of his teaching, um, his uh, wisdom that he's imparted, and just his caring um, and mentorship for everybody around him has just been extraordinary. Thanks, Jim, for everything you've helped me with as a, as a professor and especially as a chair here at Fisher. Jim was a good guy to have around, um, really took me under his wing, showed me what's what, um, how I can sort of make an impact here in the department and at Fisher. Um, he really sort of helped me through those uh, first few difficult months when I'm trying to find my feet here. Hi Doc, um, I just want to say thank you for everything that you did for everyone that went to Crossing Borders. I know it was a very different experience for us. Um, we were not only able to present at the conference, but we went through a really tough time together. Um, and you were there the whole time just guiding us, um, not only with our presentations, but with our emotions and everything going on at the time. But thank you for all of that and everything else you've done for us. Although I only had Dr. Seward for COM 100, he is probably the most memorable teacher that I've had here at Fisher. He was the one who got me into the COM major and got me on my way here. Uh, during the interview, I look over at him at one point when I'm answering one of the questions that the faculty asked me and he just sort of looked over at me, uh, knowingly smiled, nodded, and just winked at me. So, uh, thanks, Jim. I'm gonna miss his, uh, his uh, words of wisdom, how he can encourage me, but at the same time beat me up and not let me sell myself short. I have great uh, admiration and respect for Jim Seward. Uh, Jim, first of all, chaired this, the search committee that uh, hired me. Um, in addition, in more importantly, Jim has been a great uh, friend of the Sports Studies program and a mentor to me personally. And now, looking back on that journey that I've had with him to the first semester of my senior year, I'm just so glad that I've met Doc and that he's touched my life in so many different ways. And um, he'll really, really be missed here when he leaves campus. The imprint that Dr. Seward left on me um, started my freshman year in his COM 100 class when he had us watch the last lecture by Randy Pausch 
And ever since then, he's carried the same lessons that Randy Pouch taught in his last lecture through all of our classes, um, especially the brick walls co quote about how brick walls aren't there to keep you out, they're there for you to challenge yourself. Doc, four and a half years ago I came in here uh, in the TV lab on a tour with my family and you were the person who guided us through and I'm happy to say that after four years you've taught me and so many other people so much. It's not only myself that is so thankful for what you've done here, but all these people that have graduated in the past who you've really left your mark on that imprint uh, that you've talked about. So on behalf of them, myself, thank you for everything you've done. I can't thank you enough for, for you choosing me uh, to be the person who got that going and, and worked with the kids on that. Um, you are the communications journalism program at St. John Fisher. It's as simple as that. Uh, and it'll be tough to go on without you, but we'll try and do you proud, and we wish you nothing but good luck. Thanks a lot, Jim.